get to cabin 8126, you exit the elevator area and you go down near the waterfront, right by the district brew house, and make a right. They're kind of hidden, so you need to kind of follow the signs. You walk down the corridor. And I don't know if you can see, but there is a door directly in front of us. And you simply open this door and they're hidden cabins right down here. So it would make it for a nice experience to be hidden right down this hallway. Now let's get to the cabin tour. This is Kevin from Cruising with Wheels and this is a review of cabin 8126. You'll notice just like the other cabins you have a lit number, a braille underneath for the visually impaired, makeup room, do not disturb, and at home that are functional by switches in the cabin. Again, uh, the Bliss has RIFD operated door locks. You simply tap your uh, card, your sale and sign card on this black. Um, sorry guys, ship's a little rocky today. You just simply tap your card on the RIFD a plate and the door will unlock. Now let's go in and take a look. So entering the cabin on the left is the bathroom which like always will hit that last but if you look next to the bathroom door there is the heating and air conditioning controls and the ship was built for Alaska so there is heat in your cabin if you so desire and of course air conditioning for when they're visiting the Caribbean or during the warmer months in Alaska. Below are the switches that control the lighting outside the cabin that I showed you earlier. The make up the room, your light will turn green, which means that your room steward can enter the room and clean it. And the do not disturb, which will illuminate a red light, indicating that you wanna be left alone. Underneath that is a sign that says watch your stuff. The reasoning is the plumbing in this cabin is located directly underneath the bathroom so there is a probably a three and a half to four inch step up into the bathroom. Underneath that to conserve energy and electricity on board the NCL Bliss is a key card operated lighting system. You just have to put in your key card for the lights to be on and if you remove this, all the lights will go off. One switch is for the bathroom, and one switch is for the interior lights in the cabin. This cabin has an adjoining room, and that door is right here. You can see the handle right there. Uh, on this sailing, we're not sailing with people in the adjoining cabin, so it is locked on both sides. There is a full-length mirror to the left and then you enter into the good stuff. This is your mini suite. Now we have three people sailing in this cabin right now so the pull down bed uh, is in operation. Normally it would go up into this cavity in the ceiling. It's kind of hard to see because it's a brand new ship but there's a cavity right here and it would lock up in place and the ladder would most likely be stored underneath the sofa which is right here next to the sofa is a double closet Let's see if I can get that but it's a double closet uh, it has shelving on one side and hanging on the opposite side there's plenty of space and plenty of storage now I'm gonna swing around and have a seat on the couch. And when I'm sitting on the couch, what I see is a mirror right here. Hi guys. There is a shelf. It's a great area for uh, grab and go items. Um, often you can set yourself up before you leave. See all our tickets for the uh, drawing there they're gonna have later on. This is a mini suite, so you do have a coffee maker. 
Uh, also an ice bucket, so if you just need it and you follow our tips, advice, then you'll have your post-it note and you can just leave that for your room steward. <coughs> Next to the coffee maker is a European outlet, a light switch that operates the lights above the mirror, <coughs> and three outlets. Uh, keep in mind that if there are not enough outlets for you, that you should bring a non-surge protector uh, power strip. There's also a stool, which doubles as a table. Uh, you just remove the wooden portion and then you have a stool. There is a trash can and underneath the desk area is a hair dryer. It's a little dark. So you do not need to bring your hair dryers when you travel on the NCL Bliss. Unless you're picky. Next to the hair dryer is your mini fridge. Be careful, all you ultimate beverage package drinkers, because they are not included with your beverage package. You have to pay for them. So get out of your cabin and go to a bar. Like I said, there's plenty of storage. Right here is another storage area uh, with some shelving. And next to that is another storage area with shelving. And above is a shelf where you can store some items. And above that is your television. Now this television is articulating so that people around the cabin can view it. And you have a queen size bed with a cute little animal on it. Uh, I believe in this cabin you can also request to have the queen size bed converted into two twins if you so desire. Now, who we have in the cabin today, Stephanie. Hi. Stephanie is one of our subscribers and uh, she volunteered the cabin uh, to be uh, toured so that she can help, so that we can help out other travelers on the NCL Bliss. Uh, this is considered a mini suite. And Stephanie's going to show us the lighting next to the bed. So on either side of the bed are two switches. One controls the bottom light, which is the uh, reading lamp, and so you don't disturb your partner. And above it is just a regular light to get some more in the room. Now underneath that, on either side, I'll zoom in and show you. Oh, it's blurry. Now either side of on the bed is a USB port, uh, which is nice. You can charge your phone or any device that uses a USB uh, port. So that cuts down on the need for outlets. And now we are going to get to what is the uh, cherry on top for this mini suite and all mini suites, which is the balcony. And this is one of the ones that's an extended balcony. A little breezy out, so I'm sorry about that, but you can see that on this balcony, you'll have a table and some chairs, and it has enough length to it that you have two loungers. And it is a great thing to have when you're feeling about. So, the balcony was great, but it is a little windy today. We're traveling, it's a sea day. And uh, I'm going to take you right now to the bathroom. Everybody's always curious about the bathrooms. So, like I said, you're going to have a step up. And immediately when you enter into the bathroom, there is the toilet. And there's plenty of grab bars. Uh, as you can see, so that if you need assistance getting up into the bathroom. And just like the other cabin that we toured earlier, there is a trough style sink with two faucets so that husband and wife, 
the two kids, whoever's in this cabin, you can have two people getting ready in the morning. Underneath it is a shelf and more bonus storage. There is a drawer on the left. In the center is your tissue holder and garbage and another drawer. And this particular suite has the uh, extra large shower, if you can see that. And there is a grab bar in there uh, just for stability if it's rocky. So, and the rain uh, shower um, head, which is another bonus of booking a mini suite. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour of cabin 8126 and we will see you next time. Remember to always travel safe and cruise often.